What's going on, guys? Welcome to another standard Saturday, unless you're watching this on YouTube, in which case it is standard Thursday. Uh, if you guys... I don't know what I was going to say there, anyway. I'm just going to keep going. Uh, this is a black-white standard list that was played by William McCurdy. He played it to a uh, top-four finish at an SCG standard IQ in Glassboro. Uh, deck looks really sweet. It has three Arch of Araska, which is a lot. Um, all the other lands are interesting. Forsaken Sanctuary, Ifner Deadlands. We have a Desert of the True and a Scavenging Grounds. Scavenger Grounds. Um, treasure Maps and Thematic Compass, both of which are, are going to try to draw you cards, which is nice for a blue-black, a blue, a black-white deck, rather. Um, Baffling End, Moment of Craving, Fatal Push, Harsh. The deck is mostly, like, removal, which is pretty sweet. Ixalan's Binding, Skylar Shot, Doomfall, Profane Procession, which is probably one of my favorite cards in Rivals of Ixalan. Uh, then we also have Fumigates and one Approach of the Second Sun, which is interesting. But, so these are your win conditions. Two Masterminds Acquisition, two Profane Procession, and one Approach. Those are basically the only ways the deck has to actually win the game, uh, which is interesting. So you basically want two Masterminds Acquisition for either like Zatalpa, which we have two of in the sideboard, or Tetsamok. And those are going to help you win the game. You can also play Approach and then Masterminds for the second Approach, which is awesome. And um, otherwise, your sideboard's pretty standard. Authority, Lost Legacy, Oketra's Last Mercy is just like I'll gain 16 life or whatever. Spyglass and Duress. So deck is pretty, it's pretty standard black-white control deck. So um, I guess I could put this in the, you guys are going to yell at me if I don't put it in the uh, paste bin. So I'll do that now. Just so in case you guys go command deck or command list or deck list, you will uh, be able to see it. All right, so that's done. And also, I have the robot vacuum going on the floor. So if you guys happen to hear that, I apologize. He can be a little loud sometimes. Usually, this mic's really good at not picking up surround sound, but there is a robot vacuum going. All right, so let's play. Uh, let's play some. Play some black white control here. Although the stream title says we're paid wax through. This is exact. I just changed the stream title to uh, standard, so I apologize. Um, it was misleading. Kid Cabbage, thank you so much for the two months sub. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Sub count has still not changed, so. You have a butler? Well, it's a robot butler, to be fair. Alright, so if I misplay, guys, I, I completely apologize in advance. This is my first time ever playing this deck, and I get easily distracted by the chat and uh, what's going on on the screen and all that, so. I don't know why I prefaced it with that, but sometimes I misplay and then I feel bad, like I'm not representing myself adequately for you guys. So, we're going to keep this hand. So I want you guys to know that uh, it's not because I'm, it's not because I don't care. It might be because I'm bad. Like I, I fully accept the fact that I might just be terrible at Magic the Gathering. But I actually haven't named the robot vacuum. Should I give it a name? Do you guys want to help me give it a name? Since you're playing this, I will obviously turn off Judge Judy. Defendant is obviously guilty. <laughs> I appreciate you sacrificing the last 12 minutes of the show. That's actually, uh, that's some real commitment, Exodus MTG. However, your screen name is Exodus MTG and not Exodus Judge Judy, so... Seems like you would err on the side of the magic to begin with, but... I do like Jeffrey's good. Mike too, that's actually kind of funny. I feel like I just want to cycle this, but I also just want to play Evolving Wilds so all my lands are... Yeah, we're just going to Evolving Wilds. We'll get a Plains with the intent of cycling the true, the Desert of the True. Because we already have four lands here. You're going to Magianos? Chris, who's who's all going to Magianos? So I know... Uh, so I know what I'm missing. Is there a case in an Adam Kiyonaga going? Those are Those are my favorites. I'm never going to live that beautiful chicken. You guys, multiple times, you're going to do the beautiful chicken comment, comment? Okay. I see how it's going to be.
Table of eight and you're not even sure? Whoa. Thematic compass mirror match. Hmm. Well. I feel like a lot of these cards in our hand are pretty bad right now. And the reason for that is because they deal with creatures and our opponent doesn't seem to have many of those. My opponent knows what's up. He's like, I'm never going to use this. I don't know what you mean by an amalgam deck, but maybe. Yep, that's a good one. I just want ways to draw more cards because... Is there a Time Stream Navigator deck? Wow, that would be amazing. I still have, um, just so you guys know, I still have Casey and JoJo stuck in my head. I'm praying for someone like you. Saffron Olive, like, real talk, Saffron Olive works so much harder than I do in terms of brewing and, like, playing crazy decks. Like, I am, I am definitely impressed by that guy, so... I don't actually know where he finds the time. Like, a uh, bottom you go. Let's do it again. Bottom you go to. We could have got rid of their compass, I guess, but I don't think that's. Where I, I miss the days of having Obnixilus and Soren in decks like this. That's really what I want. Soul Mining? You mentioned them recently. It's one of my favorite albums ever. Me? I mentioned them? I don't even know what that is. Oh, I'm totally going to get memed. I, I, have a, I have a good feeling about the, my, the meme level of this matchup. Meme level is strong. Does all our removal help against the infinite turns deck? Can we kill it with like five different things? Should that be enough? Oh, the the. Okay, right on, right on. Oh, you did say the the, didn't you? You did, didn't you? I just actually didn't even read it because your brain does this weird thing where if you have two words next to each other, um, your brain doesn't actually process the second word if it's if a word is repeated next to each other. All right, I think we're just dead here. We have literally no. All right, so seven, six, five, four, three, two. That is unfortunate. <coughs> I feel like we're just dead here. This does nothing, right? Maybe it does something? I don't think it does anything. Especially if they have a second, uh, a second approach in hand, then we just die on the spot. What a weird time to be playing standard. I feel like that robot vacuum is running over something. Hold on, give me one second. Let me go check it out. All right, it was not the vacuum. Yeah, these dudes are just approaching us. Oh, 
Oh god, I meant to flip this. I hate my life. I literally thought we were in the main phase and I clicked it. See, this is what I'm talking about. I was literally reading the chat. Looks like either they tuned the navigate. So, and then I'm just like, oh, I forgot to flip it, so. All these cards are so dead, dude. One, two, and we can't even, oh, I guess we can activate this with a treasure, but. So they drew two, and then they drew another one for the turn. They're just going to play another approach here. All they had to do was hit, yeah. All right, that's the game. All right, I'll keep in mind that none of you guys are saying anything interesting. All right, so Lost Legacy clearly comes in. Uh, Duress clearly comes in. Push can come out, baffling. Like, we have actually more cards we want to take out than, than cards we can bring in. <laughs> Like, I really want to take out Settle and Fumigates. Maybe they have Planeswalkers. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm leaving in Fatal Push in case they do have the time, the time shifter, the time binder. Oh my god, Amped Phil, thank you so much, dude. All right, we'll get to a gauntlet at some point. And if you, it, Amped Phil, if, if we can do a gauntlet and you're not watching, it'll be on YouTube. So be sure to check out youtube.com slash Frank Lepore. I will play first. hands pretty even harsh scrutiny is terrible because like it's just a literal scry dude oh my god this is not this is not good i don't even know what we name with this i think we name i was gonna name thematic compass because that's what they had i'll keep you what if we don't get pickles though is it time spiral block because that was a good that was a good standard block it is really loud out there Hold on, let me go shut the door. All right, so Mike B is probably joining us. And by probably, I mean Mike B is joining us, so. Guys, give him a, more, a warm Mike B welcome. I can't actually think of another card. Nick, let me name a card for me that I can sorcerer spyglass. Fetch land. Mike said fetch land. Is the vacuum inside or outside? It's inside. Okay. The little buddy is safe and secure. Oh, we can we can duress. It's your robot friend. It's probably just better to 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 activate this though. It's a better use of mana. It's your robot friend. Do you ever think about that? This is not draft. Okay. <laughs> I, should, I feel like you should have known that. Well, all the cards on the battlefield are technically from... Wait, no. No, not at all. Tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> what do you got there? A little Diet Mountain Dew? Yeah, I didn't bring ice this time. Oh, nice. <laughs> Mike's been getting a lot of hate in the YouTube comments for all the ice chewing. Everyone's like... I had to turn it off after he started chewing the ice. I can't handle it. And then Mike's like, some people like it. And I'm like, no one likes it. They just tolerate it. Don't get those confused. Oh, Daniel actually has been begging to for you to be here so he could show you something. Okay. But okay. All right, let's see what you got here. Settle, which does nothing. Binding... Hour of Promise is the only card in your hand that does anything. We're going to take that bad boy. That that bad Larry. Oh, we do so have How a, did your deck win? Uh, very, very, very hardly. Hmm. So not often. Oh, here we go. You ready? <laughs> Mike B, the Kajiki Jiki Icebreaker. Legendary streamer sidekick. Hold on. 
Hunter Solmon. As long as Mike V, the Kajiki Jiki Icebreaker, is paired with Hunter, both creatures are having a good time. <laughs> Mike V never made a top eight, but he once smoked a marijuana. <laughs> Oh, that is gas. I got a I got a present for you guys who who didn't see it. There you go. This is this is what we just this is the reward we just got in case you guys are watching it on YouTube. Oh yeah, Mike's pro, Mike's drink is probably invisible due to green screen. So you know you got this ip ip new review lit. Man, both your decks, no creatures. Both of our decks actually are the dirtiest. This is the dirtiest standard decks I've ever seen. Also, this had no targets whatsoever. None of these are activated abilities. All right, so you hello, played. Actually, the review, the review led is what? What'd you say? I was saying hello to the robot friend. He touched my foot. Somebody touching my foot. I wonder if we just masterminds acquisition here. Probably for... doesn't have a counter, right? Just well, no, he's hand. only got these three and one other card in hand. <clears throat> it's probably safe then. I don't want them to be able to play this next turn, though. I'm tempted to just exile their graveyard, but we do only have this is our only desert so far. Mm. We could name as Kanta. We could we could name as Kanta, I guess, because this is. Uh... Yeah, you choose any card name. Part? What'd you say to me? Name the flippy part? Yeah. Oh great, there we go. So now if someone says that it's Mike, then this is this is what pops up. The old the, the Mike B the Kajiki Jiki. And this is what happens if you add the Yep, there you go. Um I feel like we can keep compass up and sorcerer spyglass, just keep drawing things I mean I don't see search being relevant in the near future oh they do an approach in hand all right that's good to know so that's how they win yeah that's how they won the game one can you approach cool. what can no you approach you can but there's no activated ability on it so it won't do anything it's unfortunate I agree with you all right, so one, two, three. We're looking for a lost legacy. Wow. Wow. Oh, they didn't do anything. That's great. They missed the land drop, too. Get all these lands out of my deck. Oh, they can reveal her hand and uh, discard a creature card. That seems like a good deal. I don't think it does. I don't think it does either. We could Mastermind's Acquisition for something. They have Settle, which is pretty awkward because if we're trying to attack, it's awkward. Ixalan's Binding, also awkward. We could Lost Legacy and then just take all of their approaches. As far as I know, your deck doesn't attack, so I don't see what the problem is. Well, that's one of our main win conditions, is attacking. Oh, that's awkward. It is awkward. Because it looks like your main win condition is dirtling. Um, well, unfortunately, dirtling, dirtling is not a win condition. Come on, buddy. Oh, there you go. Are you sure? Your opponent just gives up? One, two, three, one, two. So we can play a land and then play a land next turn as well. So we're going to harsh scrutiny you. And then we can mastermind and legacy in the same turn. This does nothing, but I, I just want to... No creature card. One, two. Oh, uh, yeah. Put you on the bottom. Cool. What was the other card? Uh, fumigate. Okay, we closed the fumigate accidentally, but wow, that's real loud. I'm a survivor. Uh, 
So we're gonna crack one, find another land. So that's two lands. Then we're gonna flip the compass. That's a good one. I'll get two deserts so I have little nerds. What's going on, Irving Q? Good seeing you, buddy. What up, Brian? Always a pleasure, buddy. All right, crack you first. I think we have two basics. Oh, we have more than that. All right, that's nice. Hey, back it up. All right, lots of lands. That's another land. All right, seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's going to flip. Let's search our library for a card, huh? Huh? How about that, huh? Seems good. It does seem good. Uh, we can settle the wreckage our own guys, but we don't have guys, so... They can they can actually attack for two and then settle those guys, yeah. That's a thing. Is there any better win condition here? Not really, it's pretty rough. We could search for an approach, and then cast that. Pretty sure we're just gonna lost legacy then. Get rid of... Approach. And we know they're going to draw one. Oh, there they are. Boop, boop. Oh, Carnage Tyrant in your deck? All right. Let's take a gander at everything that's going on here. Cool. All right. Done. Did we play a land this turn? Yes, we did. So, it looks like they got uh, two Carnage Tyrants as their alternate win conditions. That seems pretty decent. Uh, it's pronounced Dees. Both of our... Dees is... Like, of course we get matched up against the dirtiest non-creature deck. Who saw that coming? Probably... Everyone. Nobody. Everyone did. That's really annoying. That's not a pleasant noise. Yeah, they're going deep on the approach plan with the with the full four approach. Really? You want a spring to mind? You want a mind? So we know this is your hand. We have Binding, Settle, Baffling, End, and you have a Fumigate in hand. So I think Scavenging Grounds is just probably the thing to do here. Like, before you have a time to a turn to cast these things. Or flip the other one. Wish we had other deserts, but I think it's okay to do this now, especially when we get rid of two Spring to Mines. Might as well do this now. Fine. I read an article about the new draft set, and they talked about bringing some cards back to standard Demonic Tutor Counterspell and Armageddon. No way. I you're like, that sounds Never. insane. What are you... What are you? Where where was this? Who published this this article? And where like where can I read it? Cause, because that sounds insane. Nope. There we go. Special Armageddon. There's like no way. Yeah, Armageddon is an extremely unfun card that no one's gonna. They're never gonna reprint an Armageddon in a standard format.
and they really don't seem to like two mana counter spells, and demonic tutor's just straight up broken. So yeah, like all of those seem really, really suspect. Oh, you're gonna get rid of my treasure map. That's sad. Oh, look at that big guy. Unfortunately, they have uh, settle in hand, which is a thing. Just gotta draw a thing to take it. You got the, you got more things that can take it. Uh, yeah. So I guess you'd say what problem is. Oh, that's not a thing to take it, unfortunately. We could just dr throw this guy down. Like, it's not going to die to anything they have. It, they could have an other, a third Ixalan's Binding, but I don't see that happening. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we can Harsh Scrutiny, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have... I don't want to... I'd rather just get rid of one of these guys, but I don't think we're even going to have to if we play Zapalta. Zatalpa. I really just want the Scry from this. It's really sad. Zabalba. Ah, Zabalba! They also have two Settle the Wreckage now. Put you on the bottom. And this guy blocks Carnage Tyrant too, so I think we're at a stalemate here. We're like, you can't get in with Carnage Tyrant. You can't get in with... You don't have no more approaches, so... I guess we'll just see what happens now. We unfortunately cannot... If we get another Masterminds Acquisition, is that what it's called? Masterminds... Settle does Exile, so it, the Indestructible and the... Uh... <laughs> That's actually pretty good. No, that'll do it. That will do it. I wish they weren't in their hand, but that's that's life, right? We could also take now nah, we're gonna we're gonna take settle to try to finish out the game. Two, three. They do draw two cards. They also have a Carnage Tyrant in hand, which is pretty scary. So I almost don't even want to. Uh... You got haste. I guess he don't. He, I guess he ain't have haste. That's right. He doesn't have haste. I always think he has haste for some reason. Nope. Just every other ability. Nope. Just Chuck Testa. Oh, also it has vigilance, so we can just block it. Never mind. Oh my God, this guy has everything, dude. Wow, that's that's insane. I hope you didn't draw your third Ixalan's binding, I guess. I agree, this white this this eight eight mana white dude does should have lifelink. You are not wrong. I hope they fumigate because they think this guy uh oh. Well What a bargain. It only cost them half the mana to exile it. That'll do, pig. That'll do. I wonder if we boarded our Ixalan's bindings out. Can we boop this guy? Can I boop him? There we go. Give him a little boop. I agree. It doesn't need trample and flying. Those are two evasive abilities, and I don't know why they have both. Here comes old, old crusty tyrant. Oh, boy. Exile target creature. Oh, that seems pretty good. Oh, wait. Hexproof. Never mind. Do you have any answers to that? Uh, Prey? Does that count as an answer? Only if you pray. You've got to pray just to make it today. I mean, we can fail to push one of those zombies, kill the other one. Or, uh, Spires of Araska, the other one. And then just, fingers crossed, we draw something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, if we draw another Mastermind thing, we can actually find another Zapalta.
Oh my god, the vacuum is so loud sometimes. He's finding his way home. Oh, just Carnage Tyrant. Okay, well. That's good, because you actually get to draw now, because you didn't force us to... Oh, they were probably playing around Settle, which is fine. But now we get to draw an extra card, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> not ideal. Also not ideal. I think we're dead now. I guess we can draw one. That is not going to do it. All right. All right. That was not ideal. Why not playing the procession? Because it just doesn't do anything against Hexproof Guy. So. All right, let's try again. Try again. Ironically, I think I took out the uh, Settles because they just didn't seem like they were a creature-based deck, and I wasn't anticipating Carnage Tyrant. So, my unfamiliarity with Jim Davis's list caused us to... Uh, Cause us to miss the sideboard. Got to pray just to make it today. This hand seems great. I'll keep this. Our first opponent's name was the John A, and this is the this is John Beg. So we got two Johns. A tale of two Johns. John A and John B. I don't know. I don't know how how the Carnage Tyrant was able to give himself hexproof. That seems like a really a really impressive ability for a dinosaur. Oh, did you hear my neck crack there? How could I miss it? I don't know how you could. You probably could though. Brian, how did you think this was a draft? They had. Approach of the Second Sun. And Carnage Tyrant. <laughs> well, one of those could be a thing. Like my dad? Yeah, like your dad. I'm okay, dad. You've got to pray just to make it today. This is this an MC Hammer song? I have no idea. I feel like I should totally boop this guy. You can sacrifice a discard five cards to draw one. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't take that. I have sort of surprise. <laughs> not gonna go, not gonna take the bait there, huh? All right. Well. Oh, it's old Lannery Storm herself. What do we got here? Deadlands? You can leave. Don't you. Come around here. You understand? I'm confused. It's from Friday? Are you unfamiliar with Friday? Friday, Friday. No, that's the Rebecca Black song. I'm talking about the movie. Yeah, I know, but... No, you don't. I just wanted to do you that. You don't know. I feel like I kill this and then just keep up treasure map mana. I'm okay with that. And I just hope you don't keep having hasty guys, but I also don't want to give you a million mana. Lands, specifically. Why would you default to Rebecca Black when I sing, when I quote Friday the movie? Because it's a song about Friday. Um... Hmm. Wow. Is this where you want to be when Jesus comes back? So close to flippage. About the standard after bannings and how it's settled. Uh so far, yeah, I think it's I think it's pretty reasonable. I haven't I I haven't felt oppressed or attacked so far, but you know, I guess there's still time. Oh, that 
Let's look at that. Oh, would you look at that? Don't have a second of braid. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, dude. Oh, there's also an approach deck. Okay, that makes sense. We have one approach in the main and one in the sideboard that we can search for with uh, the black card. Yeah. Which feels pretty real. This is like an old school control deck where you like have to really work for your wins. Where you're like, you have like one 2 2 flyer in your whole deck and you're like, yeah, I'll just win with this every game. You're pretty much playing mono removal, so. Alright, so you have two cards in hand. I hope you don't have another card. Oh, you do. They always do. <sighs> the old take eight in standard. A classic. One mana shy of settle. Yep. I don't think I need that right now. It doesn't really do much for us. I mean, we're going to settle, so I don't know when we're actually going to have time to, like, approach and do other things. Well, that's good, but... Maybe we'll attack with all those creatures. Doubt it. I really have my doubts. Settle is a really easy card to play around is the problem. If we had Fumigate, we can get rid of... I guess we could have Ixalan's Binding the, the Hazaret. But I don't want that either. I want to be able to hit lands. This is, this is because they 100% have another Hazard in hand. <laughs> One card, I guarantee it's a Hazard. <laughs> oh, I top decked a Hazard. Ready? I'm waiting. I'm waiting as well. Oh, nothing. Interesting. Hmm. Doesn't seem that great. I agree. So they can probably they can. I, I'm waiting for them to attack with both. If I go to actually Ixalan's binding this guy, they can just shoot it and then bring it back next turn to attack for four, which is pretty much worse. Ouch. This is Or we can Moment of Craving this guy to leave this guy on board so that Ixalan's Binding resolves. I think we're going to do that. We take one less, or mo one more one more damage, but we actually break even in state eight, so. Look at all of these beautiful mountains. Ooh, that's even better, actually. Land? 26 lands on the deck. Mm, that's not a land. Oh. Uh, Super Eddie has no way to deal with binding, but gaining two life is pretty relevant. Right. This is also a thing. So. Right. That's what, yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's why I wanted to save the. Uh... For another hazard, perhaps. This is where they, oh, all right. I was like, this is where they this is where they use the shock to kill that guy, and then they just bring it back. Yeah, Exxon's binding also does blank all their future Kenraz too. So, but he doesn't. Yeah, because they can't cast spells with that name. Oh yeah, that's right. Look at this little cutie.
Oh, uh, because we used it to draw a card. We didn't actually tap it to use it on mana. We actually drew a card with it. That's why I have two treasures. Come on, Juposhi. I expect better from you. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Do we just play approach here? It feels like we do, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we can acquisition to get the next one. And they have to draw like they get like two draw steps, but before they get to draw a card, we get to mastermind, they get to draw a card, we get to approach again. So they get two draw steps. I don't think they're gonna deal you fourteen in that time. Alright, well two little cuties is a good start. What is this? Exile instant or sorcery card from Earth's Gravity. You may cast it so you can cast Moment of Craving or Settle the Wreckage. I imagine you're not going to cast either of those. It does not have First Strike. Or it does not have Haste, so that's nice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If we hit a land, we can play Acquisition and Vraska's Contempt if it's a black land. Actually, it doesn't have to because we have Treasure, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're one permanent shy. It's not right. <laughs> Search. Choose a card you own from outside the game. Could go either way. We could take approach. Your move. Yeah, they got one turn to deal 14. <laughs> There's literally no card in your deck that can do that, so we might as well go to game two. Twitch, Twitch added rooms feature to chat? What does that even mean? So if I told you to get a room, you, you could? You could go get a room? Mm hmm All right, here's two. All right. And the, oh, they Where's drew a the mountain. 12? I like that they played the mountain. They're like, all right, mountain, go. Oh, wow. Okay. What are you guys talking about? Did I miss something? We won the game. So this deck seems perfect for what they're doing. Let's bring in Authority of the Consoles. Uh, let's bring in Oketra's Last Mercy. We can take out one Profane Procession, I guess. Yeah, it's a little slow. Uh, you're a little slow. Skyrim Shot's actually pretty bad. It only kills Hazaret, and it doesn't actually kill Hazaret, so... That's a good point. I know. Thank you. Thank you. You're not welcome. Wow, that's rude. Yeah, I'm a rude boy. Okay. Okay. Rude boy. What are you saying, Matthew Ori? Are you guys chatting in the Discord, you savages? Unbelievable. I'm going to keep this hand. You guys are opening rooms? Are you going to open the room? Oh, hi, Mark. Super aggro. Something funny, dude? What's going on? You know what you did. Do I? Oh, hi, Mark. <sighs> <laughs> We're going to have a good one. Hold on. Let's add, uh, let's add a chroma key to that bad boy. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, dang it. I gotta keep... Hold on, I gotta do it on loop real quick. 
so that you guys, so I can actually see us. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Not showing up. That's weird. Can we... Uh, we're just going to play our game for now. For now. Yeah, I think it is that distinct in the movie. The quality is not ideal. Hmm. I think we want to baffling into this guy for obvious reasons. So I'm just going to kill you. And we're ideally going to draw a planes. Can we do... Can we get a white source of mana that comes into the battlefield untapped one time? Thank you, Magic Online. I feel like you owe it to me. You, that's guess that doesn't matter. I guess you care about nothing but yourself, huh, Magic Online? Hi, doggy. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. All right, there we go. Oh, hi, Mark. Now we can now we can unloop it. Oh, oh hi, Mark. And now we're good. I don't hear it though. I don't hear it either. I assume you guys can hear that. That was actually, we were totally going to, oh, this is what happens when you stream guys. I'm sorry. It's going to be a land. It's going to be a white land. Oh, it's not. Okay. So I don't feel terrible. We, we we're just missing land drops in general. Okay. You hear it. We don't. All right. All right. No headphones or anything. This is how you lose games like this. You just miss land drops. I think that's how you lose a lot of games. What did you say to me? If this is a land, I'm going to feel bad because I keep forgetting to do it on upkeep. That would have been good. I don't think it matters now. We take one, two, three, four next turn. Like, we're just too far behind. They only have two cards in hand. I guess we can just play it out. We can also harsh scrutiny and take like a hazard if they have it, but I, if they had it, they probably. Yeah, I think they would have played. No, they wouldn't have because they would have had two cards in hand, and if they can't, they might as well just play this guy and play hazard. Yep, there you go. That's pretty good. So we take one, two. Yep, taking one more. Was that the card? Yep, got mountain in hand. Bowman Courier draws them two cards. Look at this. What is this art? Like, it's just like a little cutie face hanging out. I don't even know what's going on. Little cute. That was not the target, but. Yeah. I was I, like, I was... what? So they played this. Yeah, maybe they didn't. I don't know. I'm going to bottom you. Sack of white. Sack of white. Baffling end. I guess we're still alive. Hope the red deck doesn't have ways to uh, deal with enchantments. Spoiler, it doesn't. <laughs> hey, man. I was, some people are watching this show. I mean, if they just draw hazard right here, we're dead. Okay. Oh, that's Captain Lannery Storm. We're still dead. Three, four, five. I guess we go to one. Not ideal. And then they draw three. Ugh, gross. Hmm. They did, they did not sack. They did not. <coughs> so moment of craving is pretty good here.
which we kind of have to do. Yep. I kind of just want to hit a little land so we can actually... Nope, that's not it. All right. I mean, they get four cards next turn. Uh, I, I have a, a feeling that they can deal us five damage. Doomfall seems pretty bad because then they just sack this guy in response to uh, to Doomfall. And they just have three cards in hand. I'm waiting. Do you deal... I, really, I wonder if you deal one to get the extra card or if you just try to hit a hazard and close out the game. Do they have lightning strikes? I have to assume they have lightning strike in there. How has Jace ruined the the modern meta? It's not even like in for like two days. It's not even like in any of the good decks. Yep, that's what we were expecting. All right, let's try to draw more than two lands in our twenty six land deck. Challenge accepted. The difference in arguing about Jace versus no Jace is that the people who are arguing no Jace have no evidence. They're literally arguing from a platform that is completely uneducated because there's no position to be educated from it. It's never been in modern. You have no evidence whatsoever that it will be good or bad for the format. There hasn't been any big tournaments yet either, so like, how can you say it's ruined the meta? There is no meta yet. I don't think this is a good... I don't think this is a good hand. No, it's pretty slow. I think this is worse. Well, it does have two fatal pushes. I kept it on the back of all of these, like, removal spells. He's one and two mana cards, so. People who remember Jace in Standard and are using that for their barometer uh, don't actually remember that Jace in Standard was 1,000 cards. Uh, Jace in Modern is 10,000 cards. <laughs> and it was eight years ago. And Magic has come a long way in the past eight years. Yeah, creatures are pretty good. Oh, interesting. If I could draw one land here, I would be so thrilled. Oh, I did it. So now we can play this guy. Get screwedy. We are going to get screwedy. I turn my screwed on. Hop out of bed. Oh, plus four, plus O, or plus two, plus two on plus two, plus O on two guys. I don't care about Soul Scar Mage here. I care about Hazard and On Crop Crasher. Crasher's annoying because it can come in next turn. I think we can find an answer to Hazard before then, right? They also only have one land. We'll just take the Crasher. Uh, I don't actually want this, oddly enough. All right, you, you. All right, we are definitely going to treasure map on our upkeep this time. We're going to remember to do that. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. A bold strategy, Cotton. So, Rampage is gone. So, now you just have a hazard in hand. I will not block your six damage. That is quite a bit. So 
So here you have Hazaret and two other cards. If you go land Hazaret, you can attack with Hazaret. That's pretty good. I guess we're hoping you don't have that. How nice. Did I just kill one of these one drops? Mm, oh yeah, you have to. Yeah, otherwise I'd kill the guy. Yep. Deal. God, we have no cards in hand? That's really sad. Do we mold a five this time? Or do we mold a six? I think it was six. Whatever. <sighs> Give me one turn, I guess. So we take four and hope you just draw something stupid. Hope we draw hope we draw another hazard, I guess. Wow. That's literally game. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright. This deck has uh not been ideal so far. <laughs> oh two. I don't know how these decks do as well as they do in real life. I think maybe like I don't know. I have to assume at some point it's just me, right? Like, just one of those days. All right, round three. You ready? Okay, good talk, good talk. Que? Porque? Porky? Porky? Your mom's a little porky. Wow, you're incredibly rude. Your mom's incredibly porky. <laughs> <laughs> I keep scrying on my upkeep and mana screwing my turn because, like, we don't have... I mean, we would have drawn a concealed courtyard that turn instead if we didn't scry, right? So, we would have been dead either way. Scrying wasn't the issue. You just... I mean, it's, it, it's, it, it's easy to see it as the issue. We didn't have four mana for the Settle the Wreckage that we drew, but we wouldn't have even drawn the Settle the Wreckage if I didn't scry. We would have just drawn Concealed Courtyard. So... Either way, we needed to fade a turn. That is correct. And I keep forgetting to scry because I'm in the middle of chatting. Remember to upkeep scry. Exactly. Literally exactly. I'm just going to baffle again this guy. Actually, we'll Fatal Push and we can still scry. Sure. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Oh, this guy bleeds. Be a land on top. Did we put anything on top? We put it on the bottom, right? It was like, no, it was the Forsaken thing. So we know what it's going to be already. So we can just take Forsaken thing and play Baffling End. What did you get? Mountain and you put a Jade Light Ranger on top? So you have both of these? Alright.
Do do do. There's your mountain. All right. Hey, look, it's a chicken. That is a beautiful chicken. Look at that beautiful chicken. Uh, interested in the, if, if you want to know who the guy in the background is you can just check my Twitch profile it's in the FAQ but it's also my friend Mike my name is Jeff <laughs> what is this deck man this deck like is green weird I got rid of Jade Light Ranger but I think they still have it and they're going to play it right now you're going to play it right now what did we do? We put anything on top, or did we just bottom both of the things? I think we bottom both. Yeah, we bottom both. All right. So now you you did play that, and then you got a Ronus. Do you keep the Ronus? Uh, Mike does not have an MTGO username. When when do you think Mike is playing MTGO? Every day. I'm actually your opponent. Doubt it. That's good because that would seem pretty impossible. So, life does seem pretty impossible, but it also finds a way. Some type of way. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Dang it. Four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. So they can just play a Galta here and then attack with everything that they want. A Galta would be pretty brutal. We got settle. We can settle, and we got Sky Whaler shot. I don't even care about anything. Oh, the old Sky Whaler. What do you do? Come on, attack with all your chickens. What do you do? Hmm. He doesn't want his chicken to die. It might be worth it just to do this now. Or we could just Sky Whaler shot this guy. Yeah, we'll just sky while they shot you. I don't care about that. Kills an Earth Sh Earth Shaker Ken Raw momentarily, so. Yep. 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 All right, everything's gone. You have one card in hand. I don't think I know what it is. Hmm. Kills, 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 but then you come back. I don't think that's any better than Subtle Wreckage here. Uh, Tin Man, I pretty much only play Commander and Draft. Commander. Mm, don't care about you either. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a break. Break, break bar. A break, break bar. You, you know what the break, you know all about the break, break bar. I don't. Don't you though? No. <laughs> Wow. Hunter got real aggressive there. So many treasures. Treasures? Treasures? Treasures. Treasures is a hard word to say. Maybe if you're like four years old. Uh, I don't like Fumigate because this guy is easy to get back. They can just make a 4-4 four -four on their turn. They have a Ronus and they have a Rekindling Phoenix that's going to come back. So the only thing Fumigate really does is get rid of a Pia and a Thopter. So it just doesn't seem like a great deal for five mana. If we had a way to get rid of the token from Rekindling Phoenix, I think I'd be fine with it, but...
Not as much. Come on, attack with everybody. You know you want to. Why do you do this? You can never have this. You can never have this. This is probably worth. I mean, we can also just return this guy and take three, which I think is fine. But it would actually be, what is this, another creature you with plus two, plus two, it's trample. That's pretty brutal. I guess we're just going to... You knew. <sighs> One chicken is worth two in the bush. And that's what I always say. I always love one chicken in the bush. That's probably my favorite. Whenever I go to the restaurant, I'm always like, can I get the chicken in the bush? But of course. All right, branch walker in the trash can. More like trash walker, am I right? Draw a card. Full branch walker. Oh, trash walker. Keep on rolling. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! So we can actually get rid of their whole board right now? That's pretty good. Call me baffled. And then we can push this dude right down a well. That's rude. Madness? This is... Smarta! And then you push it. And then this guy is pretty much neutralized, so we can go. I guess we're just going to save. We're going to save. Neutralize. Back. Why are you the way that you are? Couldn't tell you. Can you tell me instead? Couldn't. Sacrifice a thing. Sacrifice another thing. Did your just your throat just make a weird noise? Yeah, it's called burp. Is it called that? Yeah. What about Burp Reynolds? You ever, you ever heard of him? No. Can you, you ever, tell me more about him? Like, does he own a car? Is that what you're wondering? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I wonder. What do we get? One, two, three, four, five, six. I want to kind of, I kind of want to close out the game at some point. So, what do we get here? Zabalba. You we get? You think we get Zabalba? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Close out the game pretty quick. Zabalba does. Yeah. It takes three turns. Eight, eight, eight. Oh, I know what you're saying. You're actually talking about a real card. Yes. I, I doubt the red green deck has a way to deal with it either. So we'll go to it we'll go. No way. We'll get a Zabalba. Zabalba. Hey, little Annie. That's how Sabal talks in Star Wars. Are we? Did we just win this game? Probably. We don't care about you. We drew all treasure maps. Is this like four treasure maps? It's a good amount of treasure maps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sabalba. I'm winning a standard match of Magic the Gathering with Zatalba. Sabalba. Why is Little Annie the perfect name for the vacuum? I don't get it. Little Annie's not my Jedi. <laughs> and that I am the one. Metachlorians are so fun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. That's a Star Wars song. No, it's not. Well, it could be. One day. One day. I don't actually want to board anything. I don't think this is... They don't have a ton of haste no. creatures, so I don't think this is great. We want this in the sideboard to search for it. Lost Legacy, I don't really care to name anything. Um, meh. 
They don't have activated abilities. I guess we can name Ronus, but that doesn't seem great. This guy should be in the board to search for. This guy should be in the board to search for. And Duress is not. I think we're just fine. I think we have a million removal spells. Uh, we want the Black Dino in the sideboard because we have technically two in the main deck with Mastermind's Acquisition. So, you know. Like you do. Ugh, what are we doing here? I'll keep this. They went to six. That means they're basically dead. Wow. <laughs> wow. But Mike B is not my son. Hey, man, you like food? I do like food. All right. Good talk. Did you? All right. I'm glad we had this conversation. Have you gotten on the Slay the Spire? I haven't, I haven't actually. People keep mentioning it to me. People are like, this is my favorite thing. Oh, I guess Acquisition can get it from the main deck too. That's a good point. I literally keep forgetting that it's a card that does both. It can literally get any card in your 75, which is pretty crazy to me. That is an impressive, impressive card. Better be for four mana. <laughs> it better be. Because it basically takes up a turn. Do you know what else costs four mana? I don't know, uh, Chumbawamba. Well, I was gonna say Jace the Mind Sculptor, and I actually think I actually thought you were Matthew Ori. I'm probably not gonna stay on too much longer after this this stream because I do have to go uh, get some things done. But uh, if you if you do pick it up for me, I would definitely play it on stream at some point. Oh, that's that was a that was a great draw. Little bit. <laughs> I really appreciate you guys getting Michael Jackson stuck in my head. That was... Was, it, was it you? I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I don't know any Michael Jackson songs. You don't know any Michael Jacksons? I find yeah, that hard to believe. Dead. Okay. Wow. Michael B is not my son. Don't I know it? I don't know. Do you? Not really. What's up, Violing? Good seeing you, friend. Um, we're going to Skywalker shot this dude because he knows what this is. Shoot the whale. I'm going to keep you on the top because now we can, we can play you and play Profane on the same turn. Was it really you, David? God, man. Why are you like this? It was me all along. <laughs> 16. Thank you so much, Matthew. Or I'll pick it up later. Really appreciate it, dude. You are awesome. Oh, a resilient Kenra. All right, so this branch walker is gone. I assume you played this. Oh, and you put that dude in the graveyard. I guess so you can just get it back at some point. Sure. Sure. Hey, look, a fatal push. Who saw that coming? So they have two cards in hand? All right. All right. Snorcrash, welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Welcome back. My sub, look, this sub count has not moved. How long has it been at that? Like five days. Hmm. And I've probably gotten like 25 subs in the past five days, which is amazing. And I really appreciate you guys. You're all awesome. But it's weird that I, I don't actually think I have an accurate reflection of how many subs I have because... Do I believe in magic? I believe in I believe in burgers that talk. I believe in chicken McNuggets you can take for a walk. What? That's from the old there's an old McDonald's commercial and that's what it's from. Oh, I like this because I can actually um I can keep up settle, but then I can also profane procession if I need to. So if they're like, hey, hey I'm not gonna fall for settle, then I'll just I'll kill the guy I'll just exile the guy they're attacking with. Snorkash, you were totally awesome, buddy. Don't don't even How dare you? How dare you? Oh, Welp. That's pretty awkward. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Oh, boy. We got some good times. I could not tap this mana faster. Whoo! Was really hoping they do that. And game. I guess that I guess that's all it took. I guess they were like, well, I don't have any creatures left, so So long, y'all. So long. What did you say to me? So long. Farewell. Go on. What's the rest? No, I want you to say that part. <laughs> Oh man, what do they say? So long, farewell, Avita Zane, good night. Is that what? It, has that how it goes? Or goodbye, I think. Adieu. Ah, oh, Avita Zane. All right. Okay. Okay. Mike's like, I only do the English parts, guys. You look like a bad <laughs> Kilgore Trout. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'm going to keep this hand. It's got a lot of things that do stuff. That's cool. I like doing stuff. I like playing magic and doing stuff. <laughs> it's got a lot of things that do stuff. Oh, God. Why do you guys want this guy around? I don't understand. It's very difficult for me to accept. I'm going to get a Swamp Arena here. What up, Simek? The original Mike is was there a was there a, oh the uh, you're oh you're referring to Rob Arino. Let's see what you got. Oh, another. Oh, and a rekindling phoenix. Let's get rid of that phoenix. Could get rid of this guy, but then they just we don't want the phoenix around, right? No, I'd definitely take phoenix. Phoenix. So you might say Phoenix down? You might say that. That's a little, I won't. That's, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mike needs to be on stream because he's the voice of the people? I don't know, man. Oh, we get to exile one of these two? One of these little little, little ugly cuties? U ugly cuties, also known as uggos. Uggos. <laughs> Let yeah. go of my uggos. Yeah, like if you use it in a sentence, you can be like, oh, that, that dude is a real uggo. If that helps you. Hmm. Hmm. Chicken down. No, it's well, it's Phoenix down because that's a Final Fantasy reference, but, you know. Let go of my uggos. Oh, boy, that was a good draw. Congratulations. You're good at this game. Wow. Those are your past two draws? You got it. This Fumigate can't come fast enough, man. So you have a Braid Magma Spray in hand. We're just going to scry here because there's no way you don't cast whatever you... Yep. Just want the scry. I guess you're fine. We do have to take one, two, three, four, five, six. We go to five here. That's pretty gross. Goodbye for when... Well, I guess we gain three, though. But then they get to bring their guy back and draw two. This is pretty bad. I feel like all these aggressive decks are really stupid because all the creatures are so resilient. Like Bomat Courier, you're like, all right, I kill you, but you draw three cards. Scrap Heap Scrounger, all right, you can come back. Urshigar Krenra, you can come back too. Hazaret just doesn't die. Oh, I hope they forget. Forget, forget. They didn't forget. Dang it. Oh, that's true. Uh, Black Panther is premiering tonight. 
they don't even try to hide that the movies come out on on Thursday anymore. It's not even like a midnight showing on Thursday. It's literally just like, eh, we'll start showing it at 7 5 p.m. PM. Right, exactly. It's so weird. Like, why isn't today just the official release date? I don't understand. Oh, that was a good draw. Because then they would come out on Wednesday. Wednesday? Like that? Yeah. So long, farewell. I'll go three. I drew two lightning strikes. You're dead. Don't let your life total fool you. <laughs> no, nope, all right, we're alive. Like the Pearl Jam song. So if we draw a land, we can cast approach. If we draw a... That's probably the worst thing we could have possibly drawn. It's like the only card in our deck that kills us. Wow, if we scribe it to the bottom, what would we have hit? Okay. Not great. Okay, Authority comes in again. Compass seems a little slow. Everything else seems... Oh, we'll bring in this one because that's a good amount of life. We can take out pro one Profane Procession. There's a Timely Reinforcements when you need it. Where is the Timely Reinforcements? That is a good question, buddy. Why not kill the 2-1? With, with what? Oh, with our, like, Scry ability? Or with our, with our Desert ability? Oh, uh, we don't want second approach. Well, nah. actually, actually, second approach is probably better in the main deck. You're right. Yeah, this is a keeper. We keep drawing a ton of treasure maps. Second approach is probably better in the main deck in these matchups. The reason we originally so we played a deck that Ali and Trazi was playing. Uh, and it had one on the sideboard because in case your opponent is like lost legacy your your approach, it still gives you a way to get it. Um, but clearly not clearly not relevant in a matchup like this. So in situations like this, it's almost just better to bring it in because uh, Mastermind's acquisition gets it from both places. So Can I, do you just always have to have a one drop? These decks are just I hate these red decks like a lot like a, like a lot. Like a very, like a serious amount. Like a very strong amount. Like a high amount. RMC, I haven't been with TCG player for like three years. I've been, I, I mean, you can you can find me on YouTube at youtube.com slash Frank Lepore, but... Mm, okay. Did they miss the land drop? That's pretty good. Until he draws a second mountain and crushes with his infinite strong hand. With his what? Infinite strong hand? Yeah. Crush me with your strong hand. I hate red decks so much. Hate them so much you insult them twice. The deck's so not nice, I insult it twice. That's what I always say. So long, farewell, so long and farewell. Is that how that song goes? No. No. Come on, attack with your soul scar mage. I wonder if the thing of attacking and then magma spraying it so that it's a 2-3. Just to get that extra 2 points in there. That's pretty okay. Well, I'm definitely not Vraska's contempting that guy because I could care less about him. 
If it's a land, we're just keeping it on top. If it's not a land, to the bottom it goes. Tonric Fuddlebuster, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. See, look. Sultai Brood. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, doesn't. Going up one, right? It should have been going up one for every one of these that we've gotten. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look like the. Uh, for those keeping track, sub the sub count still has not gone up from for Twitch, so could have uh, could have something going on on their end. I will keep you on top, even though I'm not thrilled about you coming into play tapped. I guess we can actually scry during our upkeep, even though we know what we're getting, just to uh, get those treasures. And then we can approach the second sun. That's a good time. Everybody's having a good time. Having a good time. This is a greedy keep by our opponent, I feel like. Greedy's good. Yeah, I think our current American situation disagrees with that, but uh, it's just my two cents. Greed is good. No. Okay. Bad, Mitchell. <laughs> hey, man. You're not, you're not chewing ice this time. That's pretty good, right? Not yet. Never. I'll go get some ice. I have I'll not left it. Florida, Snorcrash. That is correct. Why would you go get ice and chew it? I don't understand. Why not? Because no one likes that. That's why. I like it. Mm, that's not the important part. Oh, I got that second land. I'm sure you'll. I'm sure you'll come back now. Oof. Brown. Oof. Do I just exile that guy? I don't think so. I can probably take it. I feel like if we just approach next turn, they can't really win, right? Seems pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're just going to keep this. Play approach. Having a good time. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Approach. Is that refreshing? It is refreshing. Crisp and refreshing. So what do we go to? 18 here? We're basically dead. Look, they have to keep giving their own guys unblockable. That's real sad. Or can't block, rather. Not unblockable. You know, like you do. Like you do. My name is Jeff. I, why is this here? Like, I feel like it should be off. It looks like they have this thing that looks like a land right in the middle of all your lands, and it's very weird. Give me a fumigate. Eh, one, two, three. That's fine. No, I don't want that. I already have one. How many Vraska's contempts do I need, you think? Seven. You think I need seven? Mm-hmm. Seems like a lot. I'll be honest with you. Seems a little excessive. All right, so we drew a card. We drew two cards. We drew a card for a turn, and we drew a treasure card. And we scried one to the bottom too. Dang. This game's basically over. It, it might be, yeah. I mean, they don't have double black for Lost Legacy, so. I'm still waiting for next level snarky comments from Michael. The current ones are mediocre best. Yeah, he's not on his he's not on his best A game today. Hey man, he gave me a kappa. I don't think that's... I think that's still true, though. I think he's still... War Hero. Is, is his, what is his actual snark level? Is it good or is it poor? Discard two cards? You got it. Post-combat, no less? So you'd rather have the... I guess you'd rather have the, the treasure than the, uh, than the plus one, plus one. 
Oh, mini kappa? I didn't even think that was a thing. I didn't think so either. Currently is poor. Sorry, wow. buddy. Wow. Get wrecked. Tough crowd. No. Yeah. Suck less. That's what I tell your mom. This is a family stream, buddy. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. So we drew for the turn. Now we drew one for this. We're going to do this. We're going to scry whatever it is to the bottom. And then we're just going to draw the, uh, the approach after that. Take Phoenix, put you on the bottom. Draw approach and kill you. And kill you. <laughs> Having a good time. All right. So what are we bring in, we bring in a one. We're bringing the other approach, right? That seems good. Let me take out one acquisition, I guess. Mike Tony Snark Bar Bobbly Boo. That's a good name. Why do you just win? That's that's how we do, man. What do you want from me? Some chicken nuggies. Chicken nuggies is what you want. Mm-hmm. Okay. Every day, forever. Wow, every day, forever. It's Come chicken on. nuggies all the way down. Chicken, chicken nuggies till I die. I'm gonna get you a I'm gonna get you a leather jacket like a motorcycle club jacket and it's gonna say chicken nuggies till I die, and it's gonna have I'd two chicken proudly. nuggies. I wear it so proudly. It's gonna be like a skull and crossbones made of chicken nuggies. Very intimidating. Yeah, you'll be you'll get wrecked. Oh, explain. Okay, so we're here. I was wasn't sure if you really didn't know what that meant. My bad. Wow, what a jerk! How dare you talk to me like that? Someone's got to. Listen, buddy, I have I have it on good authority of the consoles that you're a stinking Mitch. If I can get a land that comes into play on tap, that'd be great because then I can keep up both of these, which is nice, but Oh, this little idiot. Getting nugs and throwing them away? Wow. That's rude, man. Simac, have a good night, buddy. I'm getting nugs and throwing them away. I mean, who are you really hurting there? The Nugs. It is the Nugs. It's always the Nugs. Nugs are pure and innocent. <laughs> nugs are the greatest representation of purity in the world, you know. I don't think anyone's touching your nugs, Moglock. Because that's just not how nug touching works. Nug touching and it feels so good. Plus, Mike isn't allowed to go near any high schools because of how much how many nugs he used to touch. Touch your mom's nug every <laughs> night. Every night? Yeah. Wow, you're that's consistent, dude. Which part of the body, where is the nug, would you say? Above the flounder. Oh, so it goes it goes nug and then flounder? Yeah. Okay. I'm actually going to kill this idiot. What makes him an idiot? Uh, his tiny brain. Hmm. He got the tiny brain, huh? And then we're going to baffling end this scroungy. If you know what I'm saying. Oh, look, this guy came in to play tapped and we gained some life. What a deal. How good of a deal is it? It was a good deal. I don't know why you're asking me. Well, I just want to know. I don't know why. You're being real annoying right Jean now. Jean has wares. Jean has wares? Oh, Khajiit. <laughs> Wow, that was real random. But only if you have coin. 
Yeah, Khajiit has had enough. Hey man, you want to do a stream where we where we wear, where we wear mech? Never mind, I'm just done. I'm out. Good one. Yeah, no, I'm totally into that. Would you like to wear do a stream where we where we wear? I can't even say where we wear cat masks, and then we can just talk like Khajiit the whole time. Yeah, that sounds amazing. What do you have in hand? I feel like you don't have a creature because oh, you have glory bringers. A braid and a mountain. Well, that's sad. It's not that sad. It means he has nothing. I guess it's not that sad. You're right. I have a I have a planes on top. I wonder if I want to put it on the bottom. I think we do we only do i mean like we want to get closer to approach we also want cards that we can play so it's kind of awkward just having planes and passing because this guy will probably kill us before we hit three lands eh, especially with something like that we do gain two life though which is nice so it's basically like nothing happened but now we have uh cards like fumigate which are significantly better So I can actually pump this guy twice. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's pretty bad. Hey, that's pretty bad. I right, have no cards in hand. We'll just get rid of the P and the R, I guess. The peanut and the R. All right, that's fine. That is not a thing I care about. I will take three for a little while. I'll actually keep that, sure. Good deal, huh? I mean, we just killed a Thopter with it, but... Actually, we should be waiting. I don't know why we're doing it now. Like, we should be waiting. The correct play is to wait. So for those of you watching at home, don't play like I am. Because then you get, like, stupid cards like that, and you just don't want this on top. Yeah, it just doesn't do anything for us. Four, five, six, seven. We go to one... Now we don't want it. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Actually, can we take a hit here? Four, five, six, seven. We can just play this next turn. That's I mean, pretty insane. That does make us go to one. Right, but like they have they have the top deck, and no haste creature kills us because of authority. So I mean it's risky, but Uh, these are the first three matches, four matches I played with the deck, so. Oh, they're playing around. Ooh. Oh, we good. That's pretty nice. They're playing around, uh, what's it called anyway? Settle. Settle. Settle the schmreckage. Oh, it's probably just better to use this instead. I don't think we want a second one of these. Yeah, now we have to use it. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can actually play approach here. Four, five, six, seven. We go to twelve. That You're actually right. that actually seems pretty good, but we lose all of our treasures. Mm -hmm. Is that worth it? Step in the right direction. <laughs> Whatever that means. He also could go for the uh, the win if we just randomly have one on top. That's fair. We did have, we did board it in. One, two, three. Actually, I think approach is probably better here. I don't think we care about the treasures. So let's get rid of them. Four, 
four or five, six. They can deal seven damage. We go to five, and then we can catch his last mercy. All right, let's see what happens here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. A little cutie courier. Can we just draw like fumigate? Not sure that does anything really. So we have. I kind of just want to kill this thing, too. Attempted to desert and kill it. I guess we might have to Oketra's Mercy here, though. I think we got to do... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we get two left over. We can kill both of these and go to one again. I think we're doing that. I think we're just going to take all the risks here. Uh, kill you. So one, two, three, four. Boy, this game is close. Well, I have no cards in hand. That's only as a sorcery. I was I was afraid they could actually sack in response to kill this guy and then bring it back during their turn, but I guess it, I guess it, we have authority. So, all right, we're going to one and hope they don't draw like lightning strike. I guess. Yeah, the hasty creatures don't really matter to us. Go to one. No catcher's last mercy. All the game 19s, all the game 19s, all the game 19s, all the game 19s. If you like it, then you should again 19 life. Whatever that means. Oh, I guess I hit insert. That's why it's doing this. We are in top deck mode now, but we have quite a few good draws, so... I don't know if that's one of them or not. Actually, it's not bad. Like, we get four turns, and we might actually just... We might... It might be perfect. Because even if they play any one creature, we go back up to 16, which puts us on an extra turn clock. If we find a way to deal with one creature. One, two... We can't draw a card right now, because we don't have the mana. Go to 10. Okay. <laughs> Going to five here. And we get to draw two cards, so we just hope that we're one we're literally one card away from I think we're gonna be one card away from approach here. I guess we had nothing to do, so we could probably just arch of Arazka there, because we have nothing to do. I guess we can still do it, but we could also kill the Thopter on our turn. I think we might have misplayed there. But... One, two, three, four, five, one, and then we have three left over. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, so we only had three left over. We wouldn't have been able to actually use that. Oh, but they have nothing, so we can actually put it on the Phoenix. Or we can exile the Phoenix with that. That seems better, right? Yep. That's pretty good. One, two, three. And then next turn we should draw a approach, if my math is correct. And we're going to do it on their turn because uh, if they have a way to... Like, if they have an abrade, they can kill their, their Phoenix in response. But I guess when they get it back on their turn, it doesn't have... It's going to come into play tapped. It 
My concern is that they have Hazaret for four, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, no, I guess they wouldn't have enough. They would need 10 mana to play Hazaret and discard, discard two cards. All right, I think that's game. Wow, this game was great. Guess we'll take one, go to five. Hope you don't have a, a way to deal with approach here. Is there a possible way they can deal with this? I don't think so. Not that I'm aware of. They don't have what? So not that I'm aware of. Yeah. All right, sweet. Two, two, not bad. It's not bad. All right, one more. Got one more game. Match? One more match? One more game match? One more Minoch. One more Minochums. <laughs> Good times. Mm hmm. Yeah, there's something broken about that. Yeah, especially because we watch new subs like subscribe during this stream alone. Almost every single time you gained a sub, someone unsubbed. But that seems... That would be amazingly coincidental. Yeah. And then we'd have to like deliberately unsub at that moment. Ooh, that's brutal. That's the same hand. It's actually worse. 26 lands. Any one land we get thematic compass any black we get a bunch of things to cast so uh there's approach there's also profane procession which lets us put their guys into play that was pretty good and one big dinosaur and there's also mass master minds acquisition i think it's called uh which is the tutor that gets you dinosaurs out of the sideboard are we playing against an energy deck channeler initiate what Wow. We are so lucky. I think we're just going to thematic compass here. No, we're not. We're going to harsh scrutiny. I don't need you to be playing a bristling hydra next turn. Oh, champion rekindling phoenix. That guy's going in the trash can. I don't think we care about champion here. bottom all right yeah there have been some bad no lane hands for a 26 land deck i completely agree with you phoenix can die in a fire but not really yeah it's almost the opposite of what it can do uh it actually comes to life in a fire just so you know Let us get a Swamparuski. Play you. So we know you played Champion. You discarded Magma Spray and you discarded Champion, I guess. So you know we have... Do we just have Braid? Or do we just have Harsh Scrutiny again? Probably. Oh, World of Virtuoso is a good one. Uh, that seems pretty good, actually. Maybe. Satellite. It doesn't do much, though. They're probably going to kill this, I'm sure. With their double abrade. Or maybe they steal it with their confisc confiscation coop. The coop. Yeah, to the surprise of no one. How about a chat? How about a servant of the conduit here, huh? Seems good. All right, so you have a Braid Confiscation coup in hand. You are in for a rude awakening, my friend. Mm. 
just gonna eat all your creatures Hooked on Phoenix, huh? If you have Iroh, Scott of Victory, and Boris Reckoner in the field, uh, does Boris Reckoner count for six devotion or just three? It only counts for three. That'd be amazing, though. Oh, that's so sad. Now I have the option of either, like, using this ability. I guess we're just using that ability. They could just abrade their guy in response. That seems pretty bad, though. Is the confiscation coop where all those beautiful chickens go when they get stolen? Yeah, that's actually it's actually a, a well-known chicken stealing technique. You put them in the confiscation coop. Everybody knows that. Everybody does know that. Oh, that's a good draw. They're 100% going to abrade their own guy. A thousand percent. Oh, never mind. Clearly I'm mistaken. They will abrade my treasure map, though, that's for sure. And there it goes. Whatever, I got a scry out of it. Joke's on you, buddy. Mm, bottom. I have enough removal with this profane procession. All right, so you have confiscation coupon one other card. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What do we get with this? Anything good? That was beautiful. We definitely have to use it here, right? Because yeah. they don't have any guys, so. Search your library. Let's choose the approach in the sideboard. So now any land we play approach, any spell we're able to cast... And then we still have a second approach in our library to use if we want to. Here comes a glory bringer. <laughs> oh boy, it's always a good, always a good time. All right, well, you know, we know your last card is. Oh, that's pretty good. Is that better than this? Probably. Uh, I don't know. Having glory bringer seems pretty good. No, I mean, I meant, I, I actually meant the other way. Okay. You're right. And yeah, we'll do it now in case they have like blossoming defense or something. Yeah, man, shut your dang nug hole, you stupid Mitch. Never. Making people yawn over here. Yep, that's a good one. What are you getting rid of? You gotta get rid of confiscation coup. We just have no targets for it, right? Really? You kept the confiscation coup? Intriguing. Well, we're one land shy here. I guess we don't have to do it now, right? I don't know why we're doing things main phase. I think it's because I am afraid of like stupid. See, now they might just have blossoming defense. I have no idea what deck this is. Is this even a deck? Is there like a teamer deck that I should be worried about? I don't see any teamer decks. Island is good. 
My concern is a Glorybringer putting us to one, and if they have Blossoming Defense, killing us with it. Yep, here we go. Are we dead? Nope, just go to one. Okay. Lightning Strike? No, nothing. Land? Woo! Now we should gain some life. Well, we have Settle the Wreckage now. But we don't have a second white. Oh, God. Oh, we can't we can't oh, even cast wow, it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, I guess we're going to flip here. Because it actually gives us the land for next turn, so. All right. Fingers crossed you don't have another haste guy, I guess. Glory bring. Oh, who? One time, don't have a negate. Oh, go to eight. All right. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, approach. Just make sure we can keep track so we can... That's a good one. This is a good one, too, though. Rootbound Crag. We clearly don't have a creature in hand, or else we would have played it. Actually, well, no, none of these guys are big enough to... Uh, one, two. What does it cost? Four? One, two, three, four, and then activates. So we're pretty far off of that, so we're going to go one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're, we have a, we're, we're so far away from this, this city's blessing, man. They could confiscation coup their own creature back. That is correct. I'm actually in a position where I'm grateful for having lands. So, and now we oh god, we're still one away from the stupid city. I'm just gonna cast this now because if you draw a creature, you're just gonna play it. And I kind of like to know what you have in hand. Harness lightning and two confiscation coups. Wow, that's terrible. What we can do is put servant on the board just to turn on arch. I don't know if that's great though. They do get to Harness Lightning or Confiscation Coup it. I'm not sure I care about that, though. I think I just want the City's Blessing so I can start drawing cards. Yeah, that seems good. We could also use the energy to... Uh... Alright, so I think we're actually on five here. Oh, we scribed one to the bottom, didn't we? So maybe we're on four? Who knows? I guess we'll find out. We're not under any real pressure here, which is nice, and we're at eight, so I, I feel like we're in actually great shape. They didn't have a counter spell, so. Oh, check two! Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Still 132. I know, right? I guess I just live here now. So I will assume we're at three. And that would be two. So we should be able to cast it next turn is, uh, is my theory. One, two, three, four, five, activate. Here we go. Something good. Mm, don't care. Can't even make one B. <laughs> oh, wait. He gets energy from it. He, he gets it from itself, yeah. So your hand is Cuckoo, Cuckoo and uh, Lightning. Cuckoo, Cuckoo. You got a little Cuckoo Lightning in your hand? All right. Sounds good. Oh, it was right there. It was right there all along. Got him. You did got him. Totally. What do I board in here? 
Um, this is reasonable because they have. They're they're probably one hundred percent going to bring in counter spells, right? Most likely. The problem is they saw all of this. They saw baffling ends and profane procession, so they're probably bringing in enchantment removal, which is pretty awkward. Uh, we are currently 2-2. Two, two. Um, bring in this guy. What's not good against them? Probably bring in some duresses. I was thinking that, but I don't know what to take out is the problem. I still don't know how many of those effects you want. Are they better than the Harvest Scrutinies? Probably. I think creatures are more... Yeah, creatures are worse than... I think Duress is probably... Or Fatal Pitch is probably better than Duress. I think I got one for a Profane Procession for a Duress, I guess. Hey, this hand's pretty good. Turn one scroot. Big scroot. If it's a land, it's going to the bottom. Phoenix Champion Virtuoso. Oh, they look at that. Oh. I feel like it's always Phoenix. And... I can bottom you for now. Now we get to duress the baffling in, or the natural eyes. That's pretty good. Cool. I'll play my virtuoso. Okay, man. Hmm. Champion. Hmm. Ha. Magic of Island and something else. Oh, botanical sanctum and champion. So I still know two of the three cards in your hand. That's great. Probably just going to cycle this at some point. Command Bluetron deck list. Wow, Luke. Wow. Yep. And that guy's gone. The island's gone. All right. A lot of lands happening here. Not terrible. Let's remember to uh, scry during upkeep if they allow it. Oh no. One little bee. Does it... Oof. That's good. That's a good dude. You gonna run my harsh scrutiny? Now I can't snapcast her back? That's rude. More like rude gorger scavenger, if you know what I'm saying. No. It was it was really self explanatory. It wasn't even like a it wasn't even complicated. Fumigate, uh, fumigate, fumigate. I'll keep you. I don't speak language. I don't speak language. Hmm. Well, who can argue with that, ladies and gentlemen? Maya, Maya the bee. Oh, you drew in a gate. Congratulations. I guess we'll take seven. And hopefully hit a fumigate still. 
Does he have no cards in hand? Okay. We have one card. You have top deck. You have top, whatever, you, whatever you top deck is what you have in hand. That's what I meant. I meant you have nothing other than that. Okay. Just, just stop it. Oh, come on. Really? Please. Too many lands. Oh, no. I like your Too Many Lands Oh No song. That was pretty good. Thanks. It's being published soon. Wow. Who's publishing it? My dad. Wow. Your dad sounds like a really famous music producer. Producer. He's not. Okay. Well, well that's not going to do it. All right. We're going to have three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. I guess we can search for a settle. Yeah. Then they just attack with these two, and then we're still dead. I don't feel like that does what we want it to do. Fume of oh, we got it anyway! That's pretty good. I'm extremely grateful for that. Yeah, the reason I didn't do that was because it doesn't put us in a great position. Uh, maybe it does, because we have a way to draw a card next turn. We could draw two cards. Um, I don't know. Maybe they just forget Subtle exists, or maybe they have a counter spell. I guess we'll find out. You have two cards in hand, just don't have drawn a count. Oh, really? Come on. <sighs> sure. <laughs> like, two, two of the last three cards you've drawn were negates. Seems good. Keep it decent. Yeah, whatever. My God. Hmm. No, we don't have anything that we... Wow, this hand is terrible. I guess we have some time. Are you dying? Mm-hmm. That's sad. This is a good dude. If we can just keep hitting lands or like... Like a treasure map would be nice, but they do have a braid. Maya, Maya the bee. Well, we did. We are hitting these lands. I wonder if Tetsuma can actually get the job done against the blue, the teamer deck that doesn't have any way to deal with big creatures. What is this? You can play an instance. You got. Oh, you're just gonna cycle. I was like, you got flash guy. I don't even think we care about that. We know some of your hand. Did we just Tetsamok that guy? Probably. <coughs> How are you going to deal with two counters on this thing? Oh, look at that. Well, this is a prey counter, and this is another counter. And we can still cast all the things in our hand, so I'm not really too concerned with your 0-1. 
Like, if you had to play Chandra and you were looking for a way to do it, you still have double red. Uh, if you need five mana, you still had another land that you could have played. So, not even too concerned with something like Glorybringer here. That's annoying, but we do have Vraska's Contempt, so we're probably just killing it. And then slamming a Tetsamok if we're able to. Land? Oh, that's rude. That is rude. Just a wee bit. It does mean if we have another land that we can, and they play another creature, we can kill both. Hmm. Huh. So here's what we're going to do. It's during your upkeep. Beginning of your upkeep sacrifice, it's sure. So actually, we're just going to get planes. And then we're just going to fumigate here. And if we drew one more land, we can actually go Tetsamok on this guy and Tetsamok the board. But now we're just going to... Three. We're also too shy of playing Fumigates. Or Profane Procession, rather. So. See you later, Egg. <laughs> Any land, we can we can just pray counter on a guy and then kill the guy in the same turn, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, it's always Glory Bringer. Hmm. That's actually pretty okay. So now we can look at your hand, play this, and put a prey counter on this. Oh, wow. Yeesh. Bottom you. Prey counter on you. And that's actually a pretty good turn. So you have one abrade in hand, and we have Tetsamok and Profane Procession in, in play. That's pretty good. Okay, seems good. Do we exile this guy? Do we just use this ability? No, man, let's get our Texamox on. Our Texmex on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. And especially because they only have a braid in hand. Eating a sandwich. Thank you so much for the sub. Sorry, just got home. How do you feel about the Unbannings for Modern? Um. Very, very good. Very positive. I think they're awesome changes. I think people are going to be excited to play with their Jaces. Dust them off, boys. Dust them off is right. That was my... Uh, wow, you have double braid? Did you draw a second braid? Oh, wow, they did. Two of braids is what you're... Oh, do we actually exile our guy? Good. That seems pretty okay. We are few win conditions, so might as well. Let's play a land. Eating a sandwich. Also, thank you for the three month sub. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Life crafter is a bestiary. That is the bestiary. <laughs> so I like this because we can play map and then still keep up profane procession mana. Mike B, did you get a haircut? I did. I did. I think I'm going to die. 
You think you think you're gonna die? Why are yeah. you gonna die? Just cause. Wow, that's really random. It can't be controlled. Your death can't be controlled. Mm-mm. Okay, well that's unfortunate. This is a heck of an engine, though. That's a scary card. Yeah, we're not going to excel this. We're just going to act. Oh, uh, yeah, we maybe we are. It's going to be approach. Um, I don't think we want another one, do we? No. I want to I do things. I want things to let me do other things. That wasn't one of them, but... You shouldn't be playing this deck, then. Wow, good, good call, good call. Mike B, you will be missed. I will remember you. Will you remember me? Wow, you naturalized that? That's rude. I guess Pretty I... Pretty rude. I guess I shouldn't have let you control my life like this. Can you imagine if they got their creatures back? That would be terrible. Oh, God. I'd cry. Oh, they don't have the mana to activate this, which is kind of nice, but we don't have a way to kill it right now either. That's pretty annoying. Can you imagine if this one top deck Phoenix is like what all it takes to win the game? It won't. Okay. <laughs> Seems good. See you later. Bye. Can we get a win condition? Is that a thing we can do? Uh, Deadlands is negative two, negative two, so it's not going to kill a four three. Go away! Don't be a land. You are a land. Thank you. Good times. Avita Zane. Good night. If I get that Netsuke or Glare of Subdual in this throw back one more time on a punch babe wow please don't do that that seems like an aggressive move super aggro i can't support that decision i guess we're just gonna have six here i wish this had flash that's a good draw Let's see if no, we can hit a duress off the top first huh? what why oh because you're, you're playing a counter spell got you yeah it, i mean it wasn't completely necessary I guess their top deck card was in a gate nope Chuck Testa <laughs> alright so seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. sure thank god this isn't whenever you whenever a creature enters a battlefield on your control I guess Just gonna play the land we don't need this is a deck where we need cards in hand we're not like discarding anything or we don't have to like pitch things to other things we're also at 25 which is pretty ridiculous that's a comfortable life total hey that's pretty good so we have two cards here which should mean we're basically at five this is a lot of whirler virtuoso as you keep drawing i wish i could draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've drawn at least three lands, and I imagine we might have scried some to the bottom as well, but I'm not sure. All right, that's fine. Okay, that's not great here. That's not also not the best. We could Ifner Deadlands this guy and then Moment of Craving it. Sure. We could also just try to see what they have in their hand. I would have waited on that. Oh, well, we're never going to have a better chance, I think. It's probably in a gate. It's a mountain. <laughs> oh, you might be right. Actually, you that's... Wait to the turn yeah. four approach.
All right, well, kill that dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We still have 10 lands, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'd rather just kill the Virtuoso. Now we're taking three a turn, we're at 25. That's pretty comfortable. Just don't draw a creature. Can you just draw another land? So did you play Mountain? All right. Looks like you did, or you drew the Negate that we were afraid of, so that's unfortunate. That that thing that may not have happened is unfortunate. Oh, I guess it is a creature. Oh, it's an Abraid, getting rid of our clue. Wow. That was aggressive. And by clue, I mean treasure. I'm just going to play this. We have no reason to, like... hold lands here. Try one every turn is pretty good. It is pretty good, especially when every creature you draw gets you a thing. Rekindling Phoenixes I'm going to have to deal with. This is three so far. They're even better when they draw you cards, so. Four, five, six, seven. We change it to six by playing this, which is actually relevant. So that we take six, we go to we go to thirteen, draw the third card, we go to seven, draw the second card, go to one, draw the other card. That presumes that we they don't play anything else and we don't draw anything else. So I guess we'll find out if that's accurate. Here comes another glory. Chandra, that's pretty good. Alright. I feel like this game was in uh we were in real good shape and now I have no idea what's happening because Yep. Seems good. This is way too much removal. I mean, this deck is this deck seems fun, but like there's way too much removal in the deck. Like you just draw so much removal and sometimes it's like battling end where it can't hit this guy or So, maybe it's I th I mean, they just have to find the uh We have one draw. Yeah, so we go to 9, 4, 5, 6. They put us to 3. They have no cards and we just have to hope that like Literal next card, just to be clear. Like, okay, cool. Thanks for letting me see. Literal next card is approach. Awesome. Yeah. So literally, them actually naturalizing the the treasure was uh, okay. was yep that that cost us the game. Mm, yep, and we had nothing to actually. I mean, even if we got rid of this somehow, they would still have two in the air and then two damage from Chandra. So, like, it's just not going to do it. This game is a microcosm of my life. It's in really good shape, and now I have no idea what's happening. Exactly. Oh, man. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys are watching on YouTube, be sure to smash those like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you next time.